Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at something entirely different than what I, I had intended on looking at. But it's a funny thing anyway. But before we continue, I'd like to thank my channel member, Mislav. They get early access to videos such as this one right here. As well as a little badge next to the name when they comment on videos and live streams. And I get a notification on my phone when they comment, so they get priority reply. Anyway, let's get into the video. Now, probably wondering why are we at the terminal? Well, we need this to get set up. So what exactly is it? Well, this harkens back to the era of older computers, where majority of the time you had a speaker on your system. Now, modern days won't have a speaker in the system. They just go up an error. But in my case, I have a speaker. Well, as part of, as part of this case, it's got a speaker that I've connected to the motherboard, and I want to get it set up and playing sounds. So, how do we do that? Well, first things first, we need to. If you don't already have it installed, you need to download and install a bit of software called Beep. Now, this can be done through the relevant command line and a package manager. For me, it's apt. It works with Fedora as well as Arch. So you've got all you got the variations surprisingly it still works which is very nice so first thing we want to do is sudo apt install beep i like how the package name is just beep now the funny thing about this is it is just beeps that's it now to be able to use uh, beeps and get it to generate tones to get your computer to generate tones you need to also, well, you can also install an additional bit of software uh, called Socks. Now, this can play songs as well, but in my case, in my experience, Socks doesn't exactly work correctly. It uh, sounds through here instead of through the computer. But just as a quick demonstration, I will grab a... I'll grab a quick sound. Let's grab this one. Grab this. And play this. That was my ears, not the computer. Lovely. So, let's continue. We've, we've got beep installed now. So, if we just did, oh, I don't know, a quick little beep test. Uh, let's just... We'll, get, we'll just do a quick tone. Now, in this case, what we're doing here is the L stands for the length and the F is the frequency. So, for example, um, we can have it, and that's in milliseconds, so we can have that be a frequency of 75 hertz or 7. Nothing, yeah, playing frequency that low is a miracle. Or 7,000 and it screeches. I know you can't quite hear it yet because we're going to actually set that up. So, we've got things set up, we've got it installed. Now, we need to get it so the software actually works from the boot, from the get-go. And we do that with module probes, with the kernel modules. So, to do that, what we need to do is do, make sure we're in the terminal, mod probe, mod probe, uh, PCSP, PCSPR. Okay, thank you very much. So, what we can do is mod probes being. I just spelled mod probe correctly, didn't I? PR, PR, yeah. It's spelled correctly. So what we need to do is we actually need to go into our mod probe blacklist. So to do that, we need to do cd. Uh, we'll just go back to uh, the root directory. So cd uh, slash etc slash mod probe uh, dot d slash well, mod probe dot d. And then as we can see here, we have our nouveau NVIDIA. So yeah, we've got a good chunk. Now, as we can see here, we don't have a blacklist dot conf why do we not have blacklist.conf 
so we'll make a blacklist.conf so make uh so we want to do we'll just do uh vim uh blacklist.conf and then what we want to add at the top here is just uh hash said hash uh, that'll be there there we go so black black uh list pcs spkr pc speaker right quit you'd think that wouldn't be password sense uh case sensitive but it is sp a s s p k r pc speaker right quit okay so there we go so <laughs> so that so what we want to do is just again insert uh blacklist pc speaker spkr and then right to quit now we have blacklist.conf so in theory we're now all up and ready to get going now there are a few uh, github repositories that hold uh interesting scripts that work so what we'll get is we'll just get a random one uh, this one is called the nyancat dot sh so what we'll do is just paste this in i will leave links to repositories and i will also show you it running as sh files so we'll play both at the same time <laughs> So, what I've done there is my phone is attached to a microphone which is inside the computer case. You'll hear the fan. So, apologies about that. But what we have is the internal speaker playing the Nyan Cat theme. And there are several we can choose from, uh, such as Carmel Dancing. So, once again, we will. Get ready and three, two, one. <laughs> I love this song so much. So I've done. All of these can be played from uh, SH files as well as direct input for the command line. Uh, as you can see, if you want to add an extra one, you just do backslash and then boom. You are up, up, up and off to the races. Now, to actually get it running on the command line, so what we want to do is we want to do cd, uh, cd uh, documents, and then git. I have already cloned one, so in this case, it's beep melodies. So uh, beep melodies. And what we have here is we have a bunch of scripts. And that if we just choose, I don't know, down... Uh, yeah let's just choose uh, we'll just go for startup right now so if we do ls startup um echo no cat startup there we go that's all it is genuinely all it is and all you have to do is just dot slash uh startup and it plays the sound so enjoy things to your wildest dreams i will leave links to the, in the description for both of these and i may even make my own uh, github compilation of beep, beep scripts because i just love the fact that they play <laughs> and the fact that it works is fantastic i've had the i had a lot of different songs played off, off of my one it's just amazing i love it anyway if you're not already subscribed maybe consider subscribing like the like button if you dislike it dislike if you dislike even though you even though you can only see one of them uh, they both seem to work. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick, you have been amazing, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs>